Come out. Alright, in the second drill what I want you to do is to do a small complex clearance, okay? You will come all the way here after a 50 meters run, okay? Your heart will beat a little bit, so a little bit of duress, okay? From there you will move all the way up to the stairs. You will have a first room to the right which you will clear. You finish clearing the room, secure the body, you know, all the procedures that you do in your unit. Come out, move to the next room from the right and clear it. That's only two rooms you have to clear. Everything else here, I don't care about, really not. I just care about the movement under a little bit of stress and how you will handle the corner fed inside. So again, the two rooms are corner feds. I don't want to show you the rooms right now because it's your problem, okay? And um, yeah, regarding the thread, by the way, the thread is not scripted. It means do whatever you want to. The only thing I'm asking you not to do is not to come out here and I don't know, climb on the roof and shoot helicopters, I don't know what, okay? One very important aspect of this training identification. If you will not train in slice-based entries, the idea of identification, the chance that you will be conditioned to shoot people as soon as you see them when you feel a little bit stressed is really high. Therefore, in slice-based entries, one of the factors we have always to be uh, aware of is the whole story of identification. If a soldier or a police officer isn't trained properly with identification, he will be tempted through the high stress and the static movement to put rounds at any kind of a human figure that he will see. And why? Because the first thing you see from the human body when you slice is probably the hands first, a little bit of the shoulder, and only then the face. So normally if someone wants to shoot you, only when you really see the body you can identify him. Sometimes maybe here, but you get the point, right? You saw it in the demonstration before. Identification, identification. Is that clear? Yeah, okay, let's go guys. Get your safety gear. Let's go, let's, let's, go, let's go, let's go. And up. Ready? You know the target? Let's move. Okay, let's work. Ignore the doors, they're not in game. Drop your weapon! Slowly, slowly, take your time. You got him? Okay, turn around. And next room, let's go. Hey! Drop your weapon! Drop your weapon! Yeah, very good. How was it for you? Working from the stairs was yeah. kind of difficult because I have long barrel and long arms. Yeah. Um, but I feel safe with system mm -hmm. because I have always kind of cover a consumer. Mm -hmm. um, was good. Okay. You see how much you're breathing? You're not even running more than like 50 meters, right? Yeah. You see, it's just a stress. You show the difference between positive to negative corner fed, right? Totally. Yeah. Okay. Perfect. Good work. Did you get hit? I didn't get hit. Did you guys get hit, right? Yes. Both threads? On this uh, arm and uh, under my thumb. Okay. That's also Chest and face. Bam. You guys are feeling good? All good? Safe wise? Everything is fine? Okay, good. Next guys. Let's go. Very good. Go!
here. And reset. Are you are you injured? Anything? Hey. Yeah. yeah, very good. Did you get hit? Yes. You okay? Yeah. Okay. You Chest. What did you get hit? Yeah. Okay, good. You didn't get hit, huh? Nope. A few words, how was it for you the drill? Very good. So running a little bit more stress, so and then have to work with the with the weak side of the door. Yeah. But only shift the weapon, not a fan of the all the fancy transitions, yeah. transitions and stuff like that. Okay. Yeah. But it works, I think. It works really good. Also works for my left shoulder. Yeah. My uh, so what you did here was good. You shifted. You see, this is initiative already, right? Yeah. I don't need to teach you that. You do it already because you see it. You understand it. You realize in time and space that you were really vulnerable here. So you just shifted to the 90 over here. You just cop copied the same principles here to this side of the door, which is perfect. That, the system is all about that. Understanding behavior and being compliant with it. Okay. So that, that's really good. I mean, no, more, no, no other words. You see, it works. Okay, let's do the next, guys. Let's go. Good work. Okay, next room from here. You okay. Police, police! Put away the gun. And she's far. All right. Where did you get hit? You got hit somewhere. On the thumb. Okay, but you saw how, even though you fucked up and not really. And the guy was able to put one bullet to your direction. Yeah. Automatically you flinch because you saw him coming, right? Yeah. As soon as you flinched, that shot went through. Only managed to get your finger, but not the rest of your body because there were a lot of follow-up shots, right? He shot several shots. Yeah. yeah. Okay. And that's what saved your life. That 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 failsafe of reflex. Yeah. That's what we talked about, right? Uh, it was a little bit dangerous over there. Here you got it really right. That was good. Yeah. Shoulder transition is something else. We don't need to discuss it now. But right here it was better because then you started to, to, you know, to shift from one apex to the other and you tried to get a little bit more concealment and you know, all of this. So it was yeah. good. Yeah. We just did a very long force and force um, and basically we documented all of the result. Um, for the last uh, three years we documented all of the for uh, force and force sessions we did, whether isolated or extended force and force. And we have a really rich database of information. How does our tactics interact with a human uh, opponent? And um, right now they just went through this force and force and I will uh, uh, introduce them to the card and their performance basically. How was the force and force? Interesting. Yeah. Okay, in what way? Like you experience, you see that the human behavior we talked about is pretty interesting and it works like you said. So you're not a big fan of getting hit. So you shift in a lot with the feet. Yeah. So it's pretty interesting and it works yeah. and it's simple. Yeah. Did you recognize how everybody slowed down as soon as they're coming to that door because they know there is someone over there? Yeah. That's why I'm not such a big fan of all of these uh, you know, methods where people are just running and running and running. Because in reality, when you know where there is someone there, they'll slow down. Then the feet work is a little bit uh, uh, the other way around and so on and so on. Just pay attention to these little details. How was it for you? Uh, especially identification was a lot more easier than the movement. Why? You have more time, you're kind of static and you still got some cover or concealment. Exactly. Well, I can't control during movement. It's very simple. Movement is used for positioning, from getting for, from A to B. Therefore, in this concept, for example, you have the ability to not only prepare yourself behaviorally for the next step, but also to identify because you're static. 
maybe you do a small step, but you're static. You don't have such a high physical uh, pressure on you. Okay, so you can see, you can understand, you can identify. You know, like I saw you standing on the doorway, I crossed by, I was able to see a pistol, but I could still, I was not able to properly identify until I landed, landed on the 90 degrees, and then I just delivered the two shots, right? Like this, okay, that was for you. Completely different when you used to shoot paper or steel targets, and now the, the thread shoots back. It's a completely different yeah. type of thing. During yeah. the scenarios, only one person from the friend list got hit on his finger which is really good. This is also something we see very often in our courses and in the force and force across all kind of units from special forces to infantry to SWAT to uh, patrol officers. If guys are getting hit because they're doing something wrong or whatever, the footwork still saves their life. And why? Because they're getting hit just in the elbow or fingers and stuff like this. And naturally they're flinch, taking them away from the angle. And you all saw that. You all saw that with the flinch how this failsafe interacts with the tactics and allows you to work. And for the officers here from the police, you also, you recognize, you need to announce yourself, right? Police, police, we are here and so on. You need to identify there is a set of flaws that you have to comply to, and therefore you can't just run into rooms and solve a threat, right? And you saw how it is, you are reactive the entire time. No? Good, very good. So guys, um, thank you for coming. It was a really great course. I think we achieved a lot. And uh, before we go, I thought we will do like a quick feedback. And um, you could tell us uh, what you think about everything you learned. I mean, you represent different military and police organizations. So probably you've been through different trainings and different experiences. And I was wondering if you can share with us what was your impression. Some of you are familiar with it a little bit. So I think it will be interesting to hear your opinion. But um, yeah. What do you think? Um, it's pretty easy to improve your skills pretty fast. Mm -hmm. And we saw during the force and force definitely that it works. It works pretty well. So it's a pretty good tool to go further and take more care about the guys in the teams. So we all can go home. Yeah. I think I have now a really, really good package to take with me in my unit uh, because it's very simple. Mm -hmm. We can do it with the weapon, with the weapon, we can do it with the light, torch and everything. So I think I think I have something for my unit. Something new and really good. Okay, good. Like the guys already said, it's very good tactics, very easy to apply, very easy to learn also. Mm -hmm. So also for other people it will be also easy to teach I guess. So they will have a good learning effect and they will learn fast so we can also apply it later. Okay. Really some good tools I would say that you can add to your, your existing techniques and tactics. So easy, easy to train, uh, I think easy to maintain also, and show uh, other guys at the unit that don't have this knowledge or didn't uh, visit your courses. Okay. It was very, very interesting seeing the human behavior mm -hmm. and especially a system that worked with the human behavior um, went quite effective. Effective of finding an answer on human behavior, for, ex for example, glitching or baiting from the door, and then getting again and fighting back in the room. Yeah. Was totally new for me, but it worked. Okay, I just want to remark that this was just a one man clearance module, right? 
Um, there is more to it. In our system, we separate the levels between the one man, two man, three man, four man modules and the team capacity. Um, but in the end, it all repeats itself. The work of the point man and the wing man and all this kind of stuff, okay? Uh, there is still a lot of stuff to go through. We just went through really the, the beginning of everything. But still, you could see how much uh, efficiency it provided you, right? Movement, survivability, and so on and so on, okay? Good. It's all about survivability, okay? Good. Thank you guys very much. And uh, it was a really good, great course. It was really good. And I hope to see you guys again. Some of you I will see again. And um, all right, let's go.